Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have plant chores to do today. I love plant chores day when I actually set aside a day to do them and I'm not just looking at my plants and being flustered like, shoot, I have to water this and I have to repot this. So today is a plant chores day. And look at this. I put my hair up just in like a clip earlier today. I love this clip by the way. I don't know if you could see it, but but look at this gray hair. I'm 38. 38. That's that's a COVID streak right there. COVID streak. Anyway, I thought that that was cute because I haven't dyed my hair in a really long time and I don't intend on dyeing it and I think it's cute. I am going to be watering some plants and checking on some roots, but I also wanted to say thank you so, so, so much to Arbor for sponsoring today's video. It's the beginning of March and I have fertilizing to do. And now is the time where I feel like our plants really benefit from food and extra care and people are out in the garden. People are getting their gardens ready. Oh, listen, you guys, <laughs> YouTube is full of houseplant people in their gardens right now. If you wanna see some houseplant parents get down in a garden, tis the season. <laughs> Everybody's got their seeds going and it's just the time. When Arbor reached out and asked if I wanted to partner with them, I was so excited, especially after reading their story and where they came from and where they're going. Arbor is a female founded company that is extremely conscious of their carbon footprint. They have a full line of biologicals that are now available in Walmart, which is also so exciting because sometimes it's hard to find products that you love. I'm gonna be giving my plants some plant food and I am going to be treating a couple plants for pests. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you how I do it. For starters, I think that this plant has some soil mites and I found them when Becca was visiting the other week and it was so scary because I was like, what is this? What are they doing? I'm not 100% sure that's what they were, but I'm gonna treat this plant anyway. Soil mites don't really do much to your plant. They just kind of live in the soil and they're kind of more of a nuisance than anything, just like fungus gnats. Um, fungus gnats will actually do more damage, I think, than soil mites from my basic research that I did. I'm gonna treat this plant anyway for some, some pests, just in case. This is my philodendron mame, and I am going to be mixing some of the solution here. Arbor's products are made from biological ingredients, which means that they have been sourced directly from Mother Earth herself. Arbor's products are not only safe for people, pets, pollinators, and our planet, but also highly effective on your plants. What I love about these especially is that they are created as concentrates to be as environmentally friendly and financially friendly, honestly, as possible. One bottle of Arbor makes 16 gallons of nourishing product to use on your gardens and your plants. One bottle makes 16 gallons. I mean, that'll last you an entire season, if not two, I would think, depending on how many houseplants you have. <laughs> Some of us have a lot. <laughs> Imagine that you're saving on like, I think it said something like 64 single use bottles. That's huge. That has such a huge impact. I'm excited to try this plant food because before when I would fertilize and feed my plants, I, I normally always start in March. It's just when it starts to get a little bit warmer here in the Midwest. And um, I wasn't that happy last year. I've been using it for the past few weeks. And I have to say the amount of new growth that I've seen on my houseplants is astronomical. I don't know if it was because we were moving at this time last year and things were kind of in an uproar with like my house plants and stuff, but I have noticed so much new growth on my plants and starting to use Arbor, especially this plant food, that I just, I, I'm shocked at how well they're doing. Look at all this new growth on my plants. My Hoya Rebecca put out an entire runner of new leaves. Actually, it wouldn't be considered a runner at that point because it's not running away from the plant. It's actually creating foliage. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I'm just so excited by all this new growth. I posted on my Instagram the other day about it too, and it's very exciting. 
If you're interested in trying out Arbor, be sure to click the link below in the description box and pick yours up today. And then tag me if you use it, because I'm so interested to see if anybody else picks these up. As of right now, as I'm recording this, I don't have a coupon code for you, but if I do have one, it'll be linked below the link in the description box below. So just be sure to check that out, head over there and um, yeah, check them out. Thank you again, Arbor, for sponsoring today's video. Okay, let's get into some plant care, <sighs> aside from what I just did. <laughs> um, I am going to go grab some plants and we're gonna, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this dang thing. Okay, I have some plants here. I'm gonna focus you down there so you can see what I'm doing. Like my shirt, Garfield Park Conservatory. Love it, okay. I have my Hoya Aldrichii here. I just wanna check the roots on this lovely thing. It had these two leaves for the longest and it literally just put out this leaf and now this is the newest one here, which I'm so excited about. And again, this is all from me watering with some Arbor products. On my Leca plants, I water with Arbor, maybe about like half a cup, not even half a cup. I just kind of, I top it off with that because they have nutrient water in the base here. So see that water in there? That's the nutrient water I use for my Leca plants. Before I put this in here, I'm watering with Arbor just over the top and then I'm sticking it inside here. Just to let you know, like that's kind of been my process over the past couple of weeks and I've been enjoying it. But look at these roots. Look at that. Very cute. Okay, I just wanted to check the roots on there and it still has some solution, so we're gonna leave this one alone. This one I think um, may need a quick flush. This is my Hoya Wayetii. I'm just gonna flush this one really quickly because I haven't done it in a while. Honestly, like that's it, that's all I do. I'm not trying to waste water here. We just give it a quick little flush and that's it. Look at these roots. Aren't those beautiful? Oh my gosh. I love it. And this is a new leaf on my Wyetii too. Look at how tiny that is and it's curly. Oh, this is another new one. This whole branch here is new actually. These haven't even hardened off yet. How fun. Okay, let me go get some more. This still has nutrient water in there, so we're good on that. Okay, this is something that I wanted to do because I haven't done it in a really long time. This is my Echinopsis tubiflora cactus, and it has literally tripled in size since I got it as a gift, and it's in LECA. This is my only cactus that I've had in LECA, and I have not checked the roots on this in a very long time. This is not sitting in a cash pole. I actually have my LECA in here. So don't ask me uh, what I've been doing because I can't really tell you. I honestly just top it off with nutrient solution every so often and I don't give it a lot, maybe like that much, if that, because I don't know where the roots sit in this plant, like in the pot, I'm not sure where they sit. But also see all this white buildup on the LECA, that's calcium buildup from hard water. So it's just like hard water deposits. So I'm gonna, t I'm gonna like unpop this. Oh God, I hope I don't mess it up and like ruin it and kill it. Because I really wanna see where the roots are and see if I should put it in a different pot. Um, because I'm starting to feel like the more I top it off, the more the roots might be sitting in that solution and I don't want to do that. So it's been a, over a year, you guys. <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay. I cannot believe how big this has gotten. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look. Holy, wow, look at that. Oh my gosh. They are so fuzzy and they go so low in the pot. Okay. So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna give this a new home. I'm gonna go see if I could grab a different Leca pot and put it in there. But look at how big this has gotten. If I can find a picture of when I got it, I'll insert it here. But it was honestly maybe just like that big. I mean, it had to have tripled in size. And now I'm seeing like a little baby there. Do you see that? Where is it? Right there. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, I'm gonna go look for a pot really quick and then I'll be back. I should have grabbed my 
plant folio and I didn't shoot. Okay, I found this cute pot with no drainage and this is my cash po that I'm gonna put it in. And I also have a wicking cord here that I'm gonna string through the bottom. This way, it'll pick up the nutrient water and I won't have to water it as much because the cords will sit in there and it'll work through capillary action. Okay, so I am going to put a few of these Lekka balls in the bottom here. I didn't do this very well. I didn't plan this very well. I really should have got my plant folio. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. I'll put a little bit in the bottom there. And then I'm going to pop this in there. The roots are stuck to the, to the stems. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Look at that. Here we go. Fill it up there. I think it's really going to benefit from being elevated up off the bottom like that. Even though those roots were, they were doing really well. Actually, I'm going to give it a flush right now. Now I'm going to give it some nutrient water, and that's pretty much it. Look at that. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I did that. Okay, let me go grab another plant. Okay, this is another plant that I need to check on. This is my alocasia ebony. It's such a beautiful plant, but it's kind of like tipping here. I don't know what's going on with this leaf, but I need to take it out of here and I need to check on it because this is another situation where the roots are just kind of sitting in this this is a cash pole but it's just kind of like sitting in there see it, it's not elevated up off the bottom so all the solution just kind of sits in here so i'm gonna see what's going on with these roots Check it out. oh my gosh okay well these are all right so this is a nice example of what you deal with when dealing with lack of plants these are some new, really beautiful, healthy roots. This is all root rot. Look at how it just kind of came off. So I am going to clean this up and then I'm gonna pot it back in there and um, hopefully it won't die on me. Yeah, that was, there's a lot of root rot on here. Bummer. Oh, this is a new one though too. This is a new root too. So that's why it's it's staying fairly healthy. And there is a new growth point here. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, you can see right there where a new leaf is gonna come in. So definitely happy, but I think that this leaf is on its way out. <laughs> it's like the leaf is staying upward towards the light, like it's not flopping, but the stem is like, no, I'm done. <laughs> I've had it. We're gonna fill it up, pot her up. Actually, I wanna get it a little bit higher off the bottom. And we're gonna back. There we go. All right, it's ready for some nutrient water. <laughs> And hopefully uh, this leaf will hang on for a little bit while longer, but it's definitely got a new leaf coming in. So I'm excited about that. Okay, I just repotted this cactus not that long ago in a different video. And I just wanna give it some water. I don't wanna give it any food just yet because this is some brand new De La Tank soil in here and it has nutrients in it already. So I don't have to waste my nutrients on this just yet. It's okay for now. So I'm just gonna flush it with some water. I really like to flush my cacti as well because cactus, believe it or not, uh, if you don't know a lot about cacti, 
You may think that they don't need a lot of water because they're desert plants and they don't get a lot of water, but when they do get water in the desert, like in their native natural environment, <laughs> they really get water. They have monsoon season in the desert and when they get water, they really get flushed out. But when I do water, I water a lot. So I just wanna let it drip through the bottom there. And that's how you know you have some good soil too because it's dripping out very quickly. So you just wanna make sure you saturate all the soil. I also keep my cactus in terracotta and uh, terracotta is very porous and it's like a breathable pot almost per se. So they dry out quicker. So you just want to make sure that you're soaking your plants, your cactus, especially when you do water them. Okay, one more time. Okay, this is my alocasia black velvet or what was my alocasia black velvet. Um, I'm gonna take this out and check the roots because this looks like a new growth point coming in, but also it lost its last leaf without giving me a new one right away. So I'm a little worried that this also may have some root rot. And I was right. Dang, it's like all root rot. I'm kind of bummed about this. Um, but I'm gonna try, we're gonna see. Also, I wanna note, all of this LECA is reusable. So once I'm done doing all my plant chores, I clean it all out and I just rinse it really well and wipe off all the calcium buildup on the LECA balls. So I'm not throwing it out. This had a brown spot on it. So that wasn't even gonna, dang, that wasn't even gonna survive. What a bummer. You know what would be cool ex a cool experiment? To plant this outside in the summer you guys i think i might try to do that can you imagine having black velvet in the garden what okay i'm gonna put this in a dry place i'm gonna let it dry out and i'm gonna put it in like a dry paper bag and let this dry out <laughs> and then like first week of may we're potting this in the garden and we're gonna do an experiment. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Okay, let me go get another plant. Okay, it's getting a little dark in my kitchen because the sun's starting to go down um, and it's gonna storm tonight. My parents went out to dinner and Jay's in the studio, so I have the house to myself. So I waited until nighttime to do this, but I didn't think about the light. Let me actually bump this up. It's a little better. I look blue, but that's okay. I just wanted to talk about this really quick. My beautiful, lovely Gloriosum. This is the new leaf that just came in. I really wish this would unfurl because it's driving me nuts because I want it to be a perfect heart shape. <laughs> and then this is the older leaf, which is a little curly. I feel like it could benefit from some extra humidity, but um, we're getting there. It is the season for humidity in the Midwest. So it'll come before we know it. I'm not gonna bother with my humidifier right now even though my plants are probably mad at me for saying that, but I just thought that this was such a pretty plant. And even though I just showed it in this video earlier when I was giving it some plant food, I thought I'd show it again up close because it's just so beautiful. This is actually in pond. If you could see that. I received some pond from a friend last year and I finally took the plunge to use it. I was waiting for the right plant. And I was like, you know what? We're gonna try it. And um, I think that my, my plant loves this pond. It's, it's super happy. It's got roots shooting through the bottom. They're so fuzzy. Look at this one. Don't look at my face. See it? It's very fuzzy. It's not focusing, so you can see on my earrings. Anyway. Um, I'm so happy with this. So I just really hope that it stays doing well. And I see a new growth point coming in here and I'm freaking out a little bit because it literally just put out that new leaf and look at that. Stop. I hope it does. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna go get another plant really quick. If I have any more. If those are the only ones I really wanted to check on, but let me see. I forgot, I did have another cactus I wanted to water. This is my um, spiralis 
and I did repot this in another video as well. And it's just so beautiful. Like that spiral, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna water it. So I guess you can watch me water it. I don't know, I'm not like great at these videos. <laughs> Plant short videos are hard to film. It's like you just, cause they're so silent, you know? And I was gonna put music over this, but I didn't want to. I wanted to kind of talk to you guys and just chat a little bit, you know? Since nobody's here, it's quiet, so I could talk to you guys. <laughs> All right, that water came right through the bottom there. Some good soil, you guys, look at that. I'm so excited to put these plants outside. <laughs> They're gonna benefit so much from the warm temps. Okay, one more time. All right, I'm gonna let this drain and then uh, I'm gonna chat with you guys a little bit more. Okay, that's it guys. Thanks so much for joining me. I also wanted to say one thing before I popped out. If you guys are not already following the Potted Together podcast and listening to us every Monday, if you like content like this, I think you'll enjoy the podcast. I am a co-host with my very good friends, Adam and Becca. Becca De La Plants and Not Dude. And we have so much fun every week. And those of you that do listen, thank you so much for being there. I don't talk about it a lot on this channel because this is separate and I just don't, but <laughs> I'm so thankful to have you guys um, tune in every week and just communicate with us through Instagram. And it's just been such a good time. And we recently started a Patreon. So if you are someone who really loves chatty videos like this one and just like ketchups if you know about the ketchups you know <laughs> um where we get off topic about a lot of things be sure to check out our patreon and join patreon and support our wonderful podcast i love it so much it's just it's been so much fun all right guys thank you and i want to also say thank you so much to arbor for sponsoring this video again don't forget to check out the link in the description below if you're interested in trying arbor because i'm excited about it <laughs> all right guys i'll see you in my next one bye